All right, you guys, I may seem like I have a little bit of low energy. I don't know, I feel very nasally, which is weird, but we're gonna talk about she's not ugly, she's natural. You guys know what to do, like, comment, subscribe if you want, which you should. Um, and yeah, follow my Instagram, Nia Talk, because not a lot of people are following it right now, but my friends. All right, so basically, I was watching A Pop the Balloon. You know, I'm like into those, mainly the one that Arlette does because it is kind of funny. It's like a, uh, it, it brings out like a Christian villain like type aura to it, which is hilarious. But nevertheless, it shot really well. Um, I like the diversity and the contestants as well. But I was watching one, just a, a short or whatever, and all these guys popped, all these hood niggas, I'm gonna say it, they popped on this one girl who's really sweet, very beautiful girl, um, had her hair natural, had natural face, whatever, maybe had lashes, maybe. Um, but yeah, had a natural body and everything. And I wanna bring up the topic of being a natural woman in 2024 and how you are seen as ugly. You are seen as not the preference. You are seen as not the beauty standard to society. Yes, now because of media, things are trying to go back and everybody's trying to be natural, but it's an odd natural. It's kind of like a skinny, skimpy, weird natural thing people are trying to do now. They're trying to look sickly again, like back in like the 80s. Like they're trying to go back to that way of looking, which is not cute. Let me make sure my camera is straight. I think that's straight. That's all right, which is not really that cute. Um, but yeah, you're not ugly, you're just natural. And I had to understand that. I remember like feeling so weird when I was out in public or the club scene, mainly the club scene, which is, it says a lot. Like I don't, club scene is not for me. You don't wanna be in that, trust me. People that are at the club are not there to have a nice life. They're there to escape their lives that they don't want to live. And therefore having sex with you or getting a drink and getting drunk and not remembering who they had sex with is the escape they want from life. And that is how we get into the black culture of baby mama drama, which you don't wanna be. So protect yourself, ladies. But anyways, back to being natural, um, having a natural butt. Like I have hip dips, um, I have a big butt that's just, been my whole entire life but i have a butt shape that is natural it is not completely like this it's not perfect i i don't have the fat from my stomach put into my butt so that my hip dips could fill out i don't work out either i don't have a muscle booty i just have a booty and that's it um and i love myself like i literally post swim pictures you guys know swim enthusiasts like i love swimwear love swimwear love swimwear i want to make my own swimwear line but that's just me. I had to learn to love that and I loved it all my life. Um, but once BBLs came out, it was kind of like weird because it really felt like other people, people loved my butt, but at the same time, other people wanted it to look a certain way. Like I remember guys that I went on a date with would be like, oh, if you tone up and stuff like that. One guy said that to me and I was like, excuse me? Like he was just like, your body's perfect. You could literally be like a, a trainer or whatever. You just gotta tone up because I know that my clients love the way that I look. So I'm like, first of all, <laughs> I love myself. I don't wanna tone up. I don't wanna do anything. I wanna live a healthy lifestyle, which means walking, eating, breathing, jogging, whatever I want to do, lifting weights if I wanna do it, doing some sit it don't matter. I'm doing it for my health. I'm not doing it for my look. You can go do something for your look if you are insecure about it, but I'm just saying don't do it for anybody else. So I remember getting that comment and I was like, I don't want to. And we need to understand there are things in this world that are physically impossible for you to fill out your hip dips. You can try as hard as you want, but it is physically impossible for you to fill them out to the fullest like a BBL. Okay, please get that through your head. And just because you have hip dips doesn't mean that you're ugly. It means that you're beautiful and you're natural. So that's natural number one. So then we go into having a tummy. Like I have a gut, literally I can stand it. Having a tummy is natural. It's so natural. Literally, like it's interesting because even having organs <laughs> in your body, like make it normal. Like it's not normal anymore. Everybody wants to be BBL skinny flat abs sketched on like cardi b meanwhile she sketches on her abs and at the same time she has pregnancy i don't know how these things work i don't know if it's abs on top of pregnancy i don't know what it is but all i know is it's not for me 
um but yeah things like that like having a tummy like i have men that love my tummy i have women that love my tummy but it's very interesting because i post photos with my tummy or, or whatever out and i can tell a lot of females are jealous because i'm walking around and i don't care but that that's the best part about you you don't care and it is normal that you have organs don't let anybody make you feel like you need to lose it don't let anybody feel like, oh, like, and I hate the term, a lot of older generation people do this where they're just like, oh, you've lost weight. And they think that's a compliment. Telling somebody they lost weight is not a compliment. It's really a jab at their own insecurities. Really, they're taking a jab at you because they're insecure about their weight and you look good and you are confident and you are happy in the weight that you are in. So that is what I'm talking about. Like I've gotten it from family members and stuff like that. And honestly, it's a real jealous tax tactic when they do that. If somebody goes up to you and says you look like you've lost weight, it is a, it's a, a backhanded compliment, point blank, period. You should not have to feel more beautiful because you lost a certain amount of pounds. That's it. You should not. It is a very old generation type thing that it just shows that they are insecure about their own weight and you walking around happy, you looking good, you looking snatched regardless losing or gaining weight makes them jealous and that's very sad so that's another thing it's normal to have organs don't let anybody sit around here and tell you that you need to lose weight or you look like you've lost weight because it ain't cute keep it pushing and don't even entertain that comment either like what i do when i get that comment i just quiet like i switch the subject i don't say thank you i don't do nothing i keep it pushing because it really shows that they're insecure and it also shows that they pay attention to your weight they pay attention to your body so much because they want it which is very interesting that's all i have to say about that um let's go to having breasts like even that like having natural breasts that sag um having breasts that are not full like everyone thinks that oh like we have to have these uppity like huge boobs and it's crazy because now that i go to the spa i see so many boob jobs from I haven't seen a boob job from a black girl yet, but most of them, the boob jobs are from the white woman. If the boob job is from a black girl in the spa, like when I'm in a locker room and, you know, I'm going past and we all look at each other, we see each other, keep it moving. But, like, what I've noticed is that usually the black girls that do get a boob jobs are strippers. Um, and then the white girls that do get a boob jobs, they're just doing it because they want a boob job. Like, they want to... They want their man to stay around. They want to look young again. They want to lift them up. Like, your boobs should not have to be this high up in your face. That makes no sense. Like, we wear bras because we're told to. And at the same time, I love it because I my titties sweat. So that's why I love to wear a bra. But some days I don't. And my boobs can be down to here. It doesn't even matter. I still will rock it. That's my natural breast sag. That is normal. And I wish that we were normalized women who have saggy breasts like this is normal this is beautiful this is natural it's not ugly but men see it as ugly because of misogyny uh, we've gone into this we've gone into this the bbl big ridiculous butt uh boobs that sit so so tight and up that they don't move there's no jiggle there's no wiggle there's no nothing they're just there and that's why i say i really Love to see natural women because when you get breast implants, they're never going to look natural, honey. I can always tell immediately whenever I'm at the beach, the spa, whenever. I can always tell if you have a boob job. L legitimately. Legitimately. Like, usually with body proportions, if you are smaller, you may have big boobs if you're a small girl. You may. But if you're smaller, usually they're not um they're not that big so what a lot of girls will do is they'll get a breast implant but also if you don't get your areola like fixed it's a whole bunch of things like your areola doesn't match how big your boobs are it's not there's a lot of science to it but y'all know what i'm saying um it don't make no sense if you got these little titty mosquito bites and your boob is this big it doesn't make any sense i know you got a boob job and as well as you age your skin ages like literally like your skin loosens up your skin starts to sag but that implant is still trying to hold itself in a pocket it looks so gross like i've seen implants on older women and i'm telling you i am be honest at a certain age take that out 
take that shit out and i really wonder what happens when you do go to the grave and you have implants in you like what happens like i feel like if i have implants in me like and i'm about to you know head on out the door i think that maybe i'll go to the doctor and get them taken out because honestly like ill like imagine opening up that casket which they won't but opening up that casket or whatever and you you see the silicone because the silicone lasts forever like that's man-made so it's just interesting but anyways that's what i'm saying women don't feel beautiful they don't feel beautiful being natural and having a natural boob sag like breast that sag natural everything like nipples pointing to the floor like who cares like that's beautiful i i love it but once again men are the ones who run these beauty standards and so does eurocentric features as well but eurocentric features that want to benefit off of the nature of a black woman's body it's so confusing in this world to be honest but yeah um let's get into hair my hair is short um i well let me not even say my hair is short my hair presents itself as short right but once you stretch it out and you do everything you need to it it's pretty long like my hair is like down here so it's just very interesting that long hair is associated with beauty, which is also a westernized thing. It's a white people thing. Uh, the closer you are to whiteness, the closer you are to beauty, which is very sad in society, but that is a thing. So once again, with being natural, I have my natural hair. I don't have a weave. I don't have a bust down middle part. I could care less about that. I love the way I look. So me getting approached, doesn't really happen that often in the club scene because I refuse to 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 dive into that. In the club scene, they want to see BBL, they want to see fake titties, they want to see lashes that touch your forehead, they want to see lips that look like they've been combusted and bamboozled. I, a man wants to benefit off of you when it comes to sex. Let's be honest. That is the club scene. So. I say the club scene and I relate it to pop the balloon certain ones because that's really those type of people. They want the attention. They want the clout. They want the la la la. Like they want that attention. Um, and your attention is seen as a commodity. You have a BBL. You look insane. You look bizarre. Oh my God, your butt is so big. That is seen as a commodity. It's not just seen as sex as well. Like it's not just seen as this turns me on from a guy. It's seen as... How much money can you make us tonight? How much money are you making us tonight? How much money are you making us tomorrow? How much money are you making us next week? And that is not the type of person you want to be around. Please know that. You do not want to be around that type of person. I found myself around somebody like that, that Haitian man, go to my story time. He was that person and that is why he did what he did and I cut it. I was like, nah, you're weird. You're weird. The way you associate people with money in a woman's body and it being a commodity and society and how it should be used you're disgusting and you're running through the military in the streets messing everything up trust and believe that so please please be careful with these navy men they are really bad people anyways back to being natural um so yeah so i'm natural i wear my natural hair and um i came about that through art and that's why i do it i came about that through hair discrimination at jobs that's why i do it um if you're not a place that accepts me for me i don't belong there if you only accept the white face that i gotta put on you only accept the 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 wig the lashes the lips and i say lashes not because black girls don't grow lashes we do ours are just curly and beautiful um it's more about what they think a black girl should look like how a black girl should present herself it's ridiculous and let's get into lashes i don't wear mascara i don't wear false lashes i don't do a lot of this stuff like i said i don't like jobs or anything society that really benefits off of your insecurity and capitalizes on it such as one of the biggest ones skin bleaching yeah your insecurities and more about not even just you not liking your skin the reason why you don't like your skin is because society is telling you you need to be closer to, the, to whiteness to have access to these many things to get attention to be approached to be likable society is telling you that so you're gonna dive into it which doesn't make it better and i empathize with people but i'm really letting you know you're making the situation worse for so many generations and your health it's disgusting so let's keep it pushing. So I don't wear makeup. I don't do anything like that. So most of the time, I'm going to be honest with you, men that see me, they know. They're like, she's natural. Men that approach me also know. And they're like, she's natural. And they like it. 
but I will say it's the areas and the places I'm at. I'm at the beach. I'm at the boardwalk. I'm taking a hike. I'm going to a spa. Like, I'm going to a restaurant. Like, I'm doing things that involve people just trying to fucking live. <laughs> just trying to fucking live. Like, that's it. I'm not going to the club and looking for that specific attention. I'm not looking for clout. I'm not looking for money. I'm not looking to make my body a commodity in this disgusting, like, I don't even know. The piss, dirt, and the cheese on the club floor is not where I want to be stepping on. Really, like, when you go to a bar and you see how nasty the floor is, that already turns me off as is. Like, I don't want to be there. There's throw up, there's everything, you name it. Hookah, all that, burning, and it. I hate it. I hate it when people be partying. I think the way Americans go about partying life and hookah is honestly very interesting because when you go overseas or you go to somewhere that is... Uh, traditionally, I would say Middle Eastern, right? Let's put that in quotations. They not out here partying and bumping like that because if you bump into one of those things, it burns, it's expensive, and it's ghetto. So when I went to the hookah lounge, I remember I was like, y'all out here partying and doing all this. You got all these black people out here doing all this, and they about to burn themselves straight up dry. Like, what are we doing? It wasn't cute to me and it wasn't relaxing, so I had never really did it again. But I remember being in a hookah lounge scene and have bottle girls, literally they come around with these plastic bins with these ice and these little LED lights and these nasty bottles of liquor. Nasty bottles of liquor. And I've never personally paid for it, but it is like, it's just gross. And that's another thing too I want to make in a video about paying for drinks and this and that and how girls feel like, oh, women. Oh, I'm not supposed to pay for my drink or blah, blah, blah. Look, do what you want to do, but don't put yourself worth to a man paying for your drink. Because that man knows what he wants. He's not trying to be lottie dotty and take you on a marriage carriage ride. No. Um, and obviously, you have the right to not do anything with that man, but think about, is that the attention you want? Is that the attention you want? You think that's cute? But anyways. Being natural is beautiful. I love it. Um, I think more women should do it. Don't conform to what society is telling you is beautiful. Um, like I said, that girl is not ugly. I'm going to try to put it in this video. That girl is not ugly. She is natural. I think she may have had some false lashes on, but who cares? All I have to say is that what those guys are looking for is a body that will be a commodity. That's it. That's it. They want someone to say, oh, we know she do OnlyFans. Oh, she making money. She doing this. She doing that. She, You don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. And keep it pushing. Love you guys. Bye.